This is, yeah. pretend like this is a force field and you're completely safe within that cube. Just kidding. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my God! I know, I know. My my. Everything I just said, not by legal. My favorite is I don't know if you guys saw this at the end of one of our videos, but um, Josh was about to do a Zoom conference call, but he, I don't think he realized that I already hit record on it. And he's sitting there and he's talking to me, and he's like, he's like, you know, I don't want to say that drinking Fit Aid keeps you from getting the coronavirus, but. I drink Fit Aid and I don't have the coronavirus. Is that irresponsible? <laughs> and I wanted to send that so bad to Fit Aid. It's so good. Yes, so this is a force field and you will be safe. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Just like you're in your own home. <laughs> the safe space. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway guys, hey, we're, we're all together, so we're going to get started. And I got all the things on and, and going and, and recording and stuff, so we're, we are all good to go. Um, the Josh class, I'm doing class right now. Yeah. I think you're out of here anyway. Leave. <laughs> it's like, this is, this is your night off. Go away. All right. So guys, um, story of the day was something about a line and some bowls and blah, 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 blah. But... I had, I had something else I wanted to tell you because this month is gratitude month and we actually have a gratitude jar up on the front desk. If you wanna write something when you come into class that you're grateful for and throw it in the jar, that would be fantastic. At the end of the month, we're gonna hang up all of the little pieces of paper, all right? Um, or if you're at home and you text me and you want me to write something on the paper and throw it in the jar, do that. It just, it's just like a really nice way to like, you know, infuse some good feelings in there, you know? But the thing that I, I am grateful for today is Portland because I have been here since 2007 and every day something <laughs> out of me and it is I love that feeling when I am surprised by Portland so earlier today uh, or actually it was just like an hour and a half ago um, I heard somebody singing outside and you know I just just kind of piqued my interest even though there's usually a parade of you know crazy zombies walking by or anything that you could possibly imagine going by the, the dojo. I look outside and there's a guy on one of those razor scooters, okay? So it's, it's a rental. It's, I don't think he owns this one unless he somehow bought it from the, the people. So it's one of those rental ones. And he has a guitar slung on his back. All right, that's fine. He's singing, which is great. And he has a pet carrier right, right in front of him. So here's the shaft of the, of the razor scooter and he's riding along and he has a pet carrier. And I look inside the pet carrier, luckily I was able to see this because it piqued my interest, his singing. And does anybody want to guess what's inside the pet carrier? Singing parrot. Singing what? Parrot. Close. <laughs> a duck! Yes, it was a white duck. And, yes, Jessica! She's freaking psychic. Oh my God. See? Anyway, um, it made me very happy. You know, I, I got a little nervous because he was trying to cross the street and it's a one-way street and there's like a car and I was like, no, don't kill the duck. But it, it's like those, those little surprise moments that just make me so happy about living in Portland and being able to witness such, such loveliness. It was not just a, a duck, it was a white duck. It was not, it was not a wild duck, it was a domesticated duck. It was a big, it was, I mean, I could see it's, and Josh was like, how could you tell it was a duck? And I was like, I know duck, all right? <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. Was it a white duck? It was a big white duck. Was it had an leash and we're walking it along. Was it like just a normal size white dude? It was a lady. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I was like, dude, that's a lady walking in the sun. You have to see the llama downtown. He's around the building all the time. What? Walking by, running by. No! I want to see the llama! Running around downtown. Okay. I feel like I'm crazy. This is real life. Oh, my God. Wow. So many things to be grateful for, guys. So many things. All right. You know what else we're grateful for? Jumping jacks. Yeah! We're going to do some jumping jacks. All right. I'm going to count the first five. You're going to count the second five and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nobody follow Jerry. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, guys.
guys, if you're at home and you're doing this workout and you can't do jumping jacks, make sure you're doing the arm movements and or pace yourself with some squats. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's some music. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gust. <laughs> that was shocking. Hey, Josh. Josh. Oh, damn it. All right, let me put on music, guys. Alexa. Alexa. Play Monday to Monday playlist. I'm supposed to have my mask on. I'm supposed to have my mask on. Ah, oh, rookie mistake. Ah, okay. Guys, we're going to start off on our Cossack stretch. Cossack. Leg out to side. Protect those knees. Rock back onto that heel and forward. Heel and forward. Woo! 10 times. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. What did we do in here that that hurt so much? Oh my goodness. <laughs> No, 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 that can't, no, no, it's not that. It's all that desk sitting. <laughs> Maybe one side is a little tighter than the other. The thing that I love about this is that we're being really gentle with our groins and we're getting a nice little wrist stretch out of this. All right. Next, guys, what I want to do is I want to do um, a hip circle. So knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. I want you to go five this way, and then you're gonna bring it around the other side. I'm sorry, we're gonna go the other way with that same side. Use your words, Bootsy. All right, and then up and back, out to side, to elbow and down. Take your circle that way. Yep, double up your mats if you need it. If you're having any wrist issues, you're gonna always come on your fists. Then we're gonna switch it out to the other leg, to the el knee to elbow. My leg is at a 90 degree angle, up and back and down. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Keeping those hips level, making that big circle with those knees. And then taking it the other way. Five and five, and then five and five. Whoa, all right. Now guys, we're gonna come into our shin box position. So with that shin box position, what I wanna do is make sure that my shin is directly in front of me, my knee touches my foot, and then the more advanced way of doing the shin box transition would be to have your arms up overhead, keeping that torso straight. My feet come flat on the ground, and now I'm turning the other way. I'm coming up, and I'm rotating the other way. Now, if I have a hard time with this, you can put your hands behind you. I just want you to keep that chest straight as you do this, all right? And I wanna do a bunch of these. So let's try to do 10 on each side. Yep, get your mats out of the way if they're just gumming you up. Feeling it? Yeah. Trying to keep those backs straight. You might travel with this. I think I'm inching towards Andrew. Need to make some safe distance. 
I don't have a force field. You guys have force fields. <laughs> I need to make a box over here. Woo. Nice. So 10 on each side. All right. Next, I'm going to come into a high kneeling position. So I'm going to double up my mat. And then I'm going to reach towards you guys. I'm going to keep my arms out the entire time, just like this. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring my, my shoulders up to my ears, and then I'm going to reach towards you. And then I'm going to bring my shoulders down to my hips, and then I'm going to squeeze them together at the back, keeping my arms straight the whole time. So I'm making these shoulder circles with these straight arms, really, really isolating the scapula, getting that full circle. I feel like, like I'm just like one big rusted gear in this move. It's just like, <laughs> give me five times that way and then take it five times the other way. So we're gonna go up to our ears, bringing our shoulder blades together at the back, coming back down, reaching out. So guys, when your shoulder blades are together at the back, that's what you should feel like when you're in that bench press position or that floor press position. You wanna have those shoulder blades together. So really try hard to isolate that movement to get see what that feels like. It's the same thing with the bent row, really isolating that shoulder blade, yeah? All right, let's go ahead, stand up, grab your bands, grab your bands. Let's go ahead and have our wrists line up with our shoulders. And then we're gonna do a chest pull apart. 10 of those. Ugh. Ten of those, and then we're gonna do our over and overs. So touching the front of my thighs, coming to the back. Front of thighs to the back. Coming out wide, because I wanna have that band almost comb my hair or comb the top of my head. Boop, I have a little bit of a higher ponytail. Over and overs, love these. Woo! And yeah, then up underneath our pits getting that wrapped around our thumbs. And then we're gonna push forward, do this nice little press. Really reach out of those shoulders. Nice, guys. Alrighty then. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna step on my band. My feet are gonna be narrow because now I'm gonna come into an RDL. So I'm gonna come down low on my band, grab it down low, and then I'm gonna come up, squeezing those glutes forward, squeezing that hip forward at the top, coming back down. So guys, try to keep those backs as flat as possible. I don't want you to round out the back. I don't want you to round it out. I want you to keep it really flat. Pretend like you have towels in your armpits that you're trying not to drop. Can you hear me back there, Joji? Can you hear me? <laughs> and no. <laughs> With the fan going and the music and... All right, then from there we're gonna stay standing in our band and then we're gonna do some bent rows. So really squeezing those shoulder blades like we were just practicing with those shoulder circles. Then we're going to widen our feet, bring our bands up, and do some squats. Just trying to get those elbows on the insides of those knees, keeping our backs as upright as possible, and really squeezing those glutes at the top. More squats, please. Yay! May I have 60? No. Uh, no! Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Don's like, that's so passe, whatever. So now, guys, we're going to grab our band in the middle. We're going to do our upright rows. And then we're going to do front raises. Woo! So if your band's a little too tight, you can just put one foot in. I want you to keep those arms straight, though. So if your band has too much resistance, all right awesome guys we're gonna go ahead and put our bands off to the side i'm gonna grab a little bit of water and then we're gonna um, start to work on the exercises that we're gonna do for this circuit so there's a there's the high pull because <laughs> fit aid will not allow you to have the coronavirus wouldn't that be amazing if it was like Diet Coke, ugh, be wretched. All right, so guys, now we have a high pull. So I'm gonna demo this first, and then we're gonna try 10 of them just to get used to it, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have that narrow RDL stance. You're gonna come over into your RDL. So what I want you to do is make sure you keep those lats engaged. I want you to feel this in your hamstrings, and then you're gonna come up onto your toes as you come into an upright row, all right? And then come back down. So what you're doing is you're really having a ton of power come through your legs. I'll do it at speed, boom, all right? And what you're doing is you're locking out your legs at the top and really, really squeezing those glutes, okay? So that, that getting that propelled onto those toes, locking out those legs is what's gonna keep you from falling forward, all right? So let's all try 10 of those. I'm in my RDL, my hands are beneath my knees. I'm really feeling this in my hamstrings and I'm power up. Yeah, lock it out. Power up, lock out those legs, lock out those quads, lock out those hamstrings. Narrow up the stance just a little bit, Caleb. There you go. You knew. You knew before I even said your name. <laughs> All right. So guys, what I also want you to think about is really keeping that weight in that big toe. Nice. Just 10 of those to start. Great. Awesome. Then what we're going to do <laughs> is a man maker. All right. So this one is a little bit complex, so we're going to take our time with this while we practice it, OK? We'll take our time with it while we're actually doing the circuit, too. But I want to get the form down, get all the different elements down for this. So if you are able to do a strict push-up, you will do a strict push-up. If you can't do a strict push-up, you're not gonna do the push-up part, all right? But I want your feet together for your strict push-up. Shoulders are over wrist or a little bit forward, coming all the way down, all the way up, all right? Widen out your feet then. Then you're doing a plank row. Then you're jumping in. You're gonna widen out your feet a bit. Come into this deep squat, thrust it up, come back down, going back into your push-up, all right? So push up, widen out the feet, plank row, hop it back in, weight to shoulders, thrust it up. <laughs> Jessica, your face. Oh my God, it's so good. I know, I know. Well, it's funny because there's a bunch of different variations on this. And the, the one, the Navy SEALs, their version has like six more steps to it. And it's just like, oh, it's horrifying. Anyway. So let's try it again. If you are not, if you're not doing the push-up, you're just going to start with your plank row. Then you're going to hop it in, come into this deep squat, thrust it up, come back down. All right. Yep. Yep. Come back down. So what we're doing, guys, with these thrusters, I'm here, thrusting it up, and catching it back down. Feel free to make a lot of noise with this. So when you, so you're doing the thruster and then just come back down in that squat, and then that's when you're going to set back up for your push-up. Yeah. 
So we're trying hard. We're trying hard, guys, with that thruster. After I do the bent row, coming into my squat, bringing those, those weights into position, thrusting it up, catching it back down again. All right? So during the circuit, we're only going to do six of those. What was that? Do I have a question? Yeah. Well, I said thruster. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, go grab the 70s. <laughs> grab the circus weights, all right? All right. So then we have our shrugs. Oh, that's nice. Then we're going to grab these and just do some shrugs. All right, so go ahead and just give me 10 right now. Just get, again, we're going to take it slow. We're not doing it fast like we do on speed strength day. Really feel those shoulders come up to those ears. Nice. So during this circuit, you're going to do six of those high pulls. And then you're going to go into six of your man makers, because they're not the lady makers, like, or, the, or the Russian baby makers, or any of the other things that we say in here. And then you got your 12 shrugs. We're going to do that three times through. So I'm going to start the clock, because I would love for you guys to get at least 30 seconds to a minute of rest when you're actually doing the circuit. If you need more rest than that, then take more rest. I want real, real, real good form, okay? All right, so I got my high pulls. I'm in that RDL, my feet are more narrow. Coming up, I want you to really feel those legs turn on. That's gonna really help that stability at the top. Always lead with those elbows on those, on those upright rows. Then I'm gonna come down, my feet are together for my push-up, just like a strict push-up. Then I bring my feet out, I row it, making sure to keep those hips stable the entire time. I hop it in, get my set up, go into my thruster, catch it back down. Boom, on the floor. Push up. Boom, boom. My row, popping it in. Coming here, boom, boom. Again, guys, there's a ton of variations to do with any of these exercises. This is, the, this is the how we're doing it. We're not doing a double squat with this. We're just doing a single squat. Widen out those feet, keep those hips stable. What you feeling? That cramp? Or did you pull something? I know. Where, in what part did you feel it? Right here, what, what were you doing that you felt it? Oh, that, that? Okay, okay. Um, how about, instead of the row, Let's, um, if you jump on it now and you put any weight on it, is it going to hurt? I mean, if you come into this, into your thruster. Okay. Skip the row. Okay. Uh-huh. See how that feels. All right. Guys, after we're done with six of those, shrugs. Thank you, 12 shrugs. This is my respite. You got a cramp? Oh yeah? Does it feel like a pull? <laughs> All right. After you've done your 12 shrugs, grabbing water, watching the clock, making sure you get at least a minute or 30 seconds of rest if you're ready to go back at it again. You want ice? No, okay. All right. Whew. That's some good stuff. That's getting your heart, heart rate up. Right, right chair. Yeah. Just think if we had masks on right now. Thank God you're in your safe space. <laughs> All right, guys. I have about 20 seconds left in my minute before I start again, but if you're ready to start again, go for it. I just, I want that minute rest. I want it. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Going into my high pulls. Really locking out those legs. When I first started doing these high pulls, they were so difficult because I kept feeling like I was falling forward because I wasn't locking out my legs at the top. All right. Push up. Does that feel okay? Can you widen out your feet a little bit more to get them flat? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. But, but of course. <laughs> the key is to widen out those feet when you're doing those rows. To keep those hips stable. Keeping those elbows in on the push-up. Now, if you find yourself getting too tired with those push-ups and you're losing your abs, I don't want you to do the push-up part then. You'll just do the row and then you'll go into your thruster. I only want perfect push-ups. I'm gonna pretend like that was six. I have no idea. And then I'm gonna do my shrugs. So Andrew, what I'd like you to do when you're in the bottom, Try to get your weights up here and then press it up. If you can't, grab one weight. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it's no good. Yeah, okay. There you go. Jerry, if you can, when you're up here, I want you to catch into it, then come down. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it, got it, okay. All right, hopefully, maybe you're on your minute of rest right now. That was our second set. We are going to be entering into our last set. Isn't that nice? Just three sets for the first part of the circuit. Usually we're doing four. Thank you, Coach Josh. You big jerk for doing the <laughs> man makers. <laughs> He's like, here, you're teaching this class. You do this one. <laughs> I'm like, what? What is that? Yeah, it's like you said, to have the other there. Go actually get this through. Only you make it. You make it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Sorry for the spanking, guys. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he's nice, Coach Josh. Most times he's evil, Coach Josh, but that's okay. All right. Starting with my last set. Whoa. Try not to have those ankles push out. That's why we're trying to concentrate on that big toe. Oh. Nice, Juliana. Those look beautiful. Love them elbows. Love them throwing bows. All right. Sound effects help. Make sure you're getting that squat, Chris. Why not those feet at the bottom, okay? Ah, there you go. <laughs> Synchronized. God. 
I wish that guy was riding by with his duck to distract us right now. <laughs> Where's my llama? <laughs> There's another guy that rides by. He has a bike. He has this like little trailer off the back. And he has a generator off the back. He has this huge boom box. He fills, he fills the neighborhood with music when he rides by. It's amazing. Oh yeah, 12 of those, they're shrugs, and then you are done. You got this, Joe, Joe B. Get it, Joe B. Joe B is bemoaning the amount of hours he's been putting at his desk for the Multnomah County. <laughs> All your taxpayers, Joe has been sitting there slaving away at his desk. <laughs> so hard to pull himself away from his computer. There you go, Jerry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! All right, guys. So, make sure you grab water. Get your water. I hope, I hope all of you have had the joy of working out from home and doing body saws. If you have not, <laughs> you will now experience said joy of the body saw. Why, could they make it sound more unattractive? You know, it's just like, oh yeah, I'm just getting my body sawed apart. Anyway, you're gonna rest and I'm gonna demo this next part. So, I'm going to do, dumb, okay, dumbbell or tricep overhead extension. So I'm just gonna grab the one of the dumbbells that I have. I'm gonna narrow up my feet. I wanna keep my elbows in tight to my head and then I'm going up into this press, all right? Now I'm holding it in a goblet-like fashion. Chris had a really good question earlier. He was like, why don't we hold it this way? And what that's doing, it's really pushing out our elbows and we're not getting into those triceps as much as we want to because this is a tricep exercise that we're trying to do. So keep those elbows in tight to really isolate those triceps as opposed to bringing it into this part of your body, right? So we got 12 of those. And then you're gonna do my favorite, the neutral grip curl, all right? The thing I love about the neutral grip curl is if you're ever having elbow pain, do this curl as opposed to this curl and it'll make your elbow feel a lot better, all right? So 12 of those with our hands, with our uh, palms facing in. And then the body saw, woo! What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come into a strict plank and then I'm going to push forward and then I'm gonna push back. So now I wanna be back off of my elbows with my shoulders at an angle and then I'm gonna push forward across my elbows with my shoulders, all right? So I'm coming back. So I'm coming onto my toes. Now the thing that I'm not doing is I'm not bringing my butt up and moving my hips around while I'm doing this, all right? I'm keeping my butt at the same plane as I go back and forth. Does that make sense? Let's go ahead and do the body saw right now because we've all done the tricep, we've all done the curls. Let's try the body saws. We're just gonna try 10 to start. Good idea if you wanna put your mat down for your forearms. So I'm gonna come up into my strict, my strict plank. My butt is about the same height as my shoulders. I'm gonna rock it forward. I'm gonna rock it back. Rock it forward, rock it back. Wanna see me from the side? Here, forward, coming back. Forward and back. Trying really hard to maintain that constant low hip height. Where you should be feeling this is right here in your abs. If you're not feeling it there, it's because your butt's too high. All right? So stay low. What, you feel it in your shoulders? <laughs> you feel it everywhere. Good job. You win. <laughs> Caleb wins. All right, guys. That is the body saw. Maybe it's not as bad as the name would indicate, but there is 24 of those. So we are going to do 12 dumbbell tricep overhead press, the 12 neutral grip curls, and then 24 body saws, just three times through. That's it. 
Three times through. Squeezing those glutes. Make sure we get those glutes activated. Get those legs really activated. Keep that rib cage down as you're keeping your elbows close to your head. Yeah. Is everybody happy with their choice of weights? <laughs> it's so hard when you describe it in the beginning if this is going to be adequate, especially after all the other volume you've just done or things called man makers. What the hell? <laughs> Full extension, guys, no rocking. Nice. Still using those glutes. Your glutes are your friends. Ten, ad 12 adds up, doesn't it? Yeah. Wee! Joe, you got it, you got it. I know you got it. <laughs> You're shaking your head no, but I know it's a yes. You got this. All right, body size. Wood. Just 24. <laughs> if you put just in front of anything, it makes it a lot easier, right? <sighs> nice AA, Ron, those look beautiful. <sighs> Keep those feet together, squeezing, squeezing. Your whole body should be tense but you should really feel this in your abs, in your obliques. Oh my God. <laughs> you also win. <laughs> okay, hips up, hips up. Hip. <laughs> Don't poop. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to poop, put your mask on after you're out of your safety circle. <laughs> Masks have so many uses. <laughs> All right, guys, give me another minute of rest before you go into your second set. I would suggest hydration is always a good way to rest. I feel so lucky that it was so cool today, especially for this workout. Yikes. That is an awesome sweat angel, Jerry, that you got going on there. That, that is a winner. <laughs> yeah, just a minute, getting back into it. Okay, who loves the body saws? Anybody, anybody? All right, all right, Chris, good job. Oh, don't, don't. Don, that was a, oh, all right, okay. Don's trying to trick me. <laughs> 12, ah, ah, ah. Overhead, tricep, extensions. count to eight, it's hard to count to 12. <laughs> ten, 10 is your... <laughs> As if like cavemen were like, I'm only going to pick up 10 rocks. That's it. <laughs> I'll do the extra two then. Ah. No swinging, glutes on. Ah. Oh. All right, going into our body saws. Get the clock going again. <laughs> Andrew, I love the sound effects. So good. Nice. 
butt down just a little bit, Juliana? Nice. Guys, try to get as full of, an, of, of, full of emotion forward and then as full of emotion back without lifting up those hips, Andrew. There it is, there, ha <laughs> ha Yeah, that last one. <laughs> That's just the last one. There you go, Joe. Okay, guys, a minute of rest. And then we're getting back into it. All right. Feeling good. Feel alive. Always feel alive on strength day. Guys, I have not been sprinting at all since the quarantine happened. And it's a bummer because it's like one of my favorite things and I can sprint right here. I just did it the other day. It felt so good. It really, really felt so good. It's that workout that Josh and I do where we sprint down the street 15 times and then we walk back, sprint down, walk back for 15. Oh, it felt so good. It's so meditative. I love it. All right, doing the thing for our last set. Yeah. Two. Three. Try to keep that rib cage tucked. Your rib cage is going to want to extend. I'm trying to keep it tucked and also keeping my hips forward. Nice. Yeah. Oh. All right. Neutral grip curls. Same things, guys. Keep those legs, that pillar of that body, super stable. Rib cage down, glutes on. It's going to help you. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You can just do, you can either do, just drop one, just do regular. That is fine. All right. I can't remember what number I was on. There it is. Going into my body size. Logically, it really helps if you count to 12 and then count to 12 again, as opposed to the very defeating number of 24. <laughs> Just trick yourself. <laughs> or five. <laughs> you tricked me, Joe. I'm bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to use your math brain while you're trying to work out. <laughs> All right. We are going to rest. We are going to get water. Nice, guys. Woo. And then the next thing we're going to go into is we're going to need our bands again because we're going to do some of that tendon work that we introduced on Monday. So high, high reps, trying to make the most healthy tendons possible with super, super high reps. We're gonna use our bands instead of our dumbbells. 
So this is gonna make it easier to get those high reps in, all right? And we're gonna be doing our RDLs. So just like we did in the warm up, you're gonna be stepping into your band. You're gonna be grabbing that band low. You're gonna bring those hips forward at the top as you pull your butt back. This is not a squat. I'm coming into my deadlift, my hinge position. So I wanna hinge from this part of my body. I wanna keep my back as flat as possible. I'm gonna come down, maybe even to a 90 degree angle if I can, but what I wanna do is I wanna feel my hamstrings activate. And then I'm gonna grab that band low. I'm gonna come up, squeezing those glutes forward at the top, coming back down. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 60 of those, all right? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Jessica's like, you're just joking. No, we're gonna do 60. And then we're gonna rest for a minute and then we're gonna do 60. And then we're gonna rest for a minute and then we're gonna do 60, okay? So we're not doing speed, all right? And I want you to make sure, keep those lats activated completely, guys. Don't let those arms pull out of those sockets. Don't let, don't let that back curve. Keep that back really flat, come up and back down. Go ahead. <sighs> I want you to narrow up, Don. Yep. Really pull that butt back to that back wall so that you don't feel this in your lower back, all right? It's not just a matter of bending over, it's a matter of actually getting that butt to pull back and then coming up. I hope somebody's counting. Okay. Thank you. Exhale at the top. You can exhale even through counting. 36, 37, I think. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna have the healthiest tendons. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, Joe, stay in those lats, stay in those lats. I'm just doing as many as Jessica does. <laughs> okay, cool, yay! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna rest. Nice, you got this, Joe. And then guys, too, when you're doing this, I want you to keep that neutral spine. So I don't want you to look up with it. Keeping that head right off of that spine, maybe looking at about a 45 degree in front of you or 10 feet in front of you, as you're going up and down. So I want you to really think about turning on those lats. When our lats aren't on when our ears, when our shoulders are up in our ears, we're not wrenching that up at the top. We're keeping our shoulders down we're just keeping this part of our body that goes all the way from here, all the way into our hip, completely engaged as we're doing it. So we're here, arms don't move. Yeah, our arms stay super, super solid with this. Okay, we've got about 30 seconds. And then we got our second set of 60. Woo! All right. I want your feet more parallel, Joe. I mean, Chris. So, feet are more parallel as opposed to out. Keep that back right foot, like it's turned out right now. I want it, there you go, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there it is.
Yeah. Last count again, Jessica. Thank you. Great job, guys. All right. Who has one more set of 60 in them? You think you're done? You think you're okay to do it? Okay, yeah, right? I think it's not as bad, actually, when we don't have weights and we're just using the resistance band. It makes it a little bit easier to do the higher reps. Absolutely. Yeah, let's, let's try to get another set of 60. If you can only give me 20, give me 20. If you can give me 40, give me 40, you know? So we'll work up to it that way. Ha, 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 ha. I'm gonna get some water. That's what I love about these uh, exercise days that Josh comes up with the program and then doesn't teach it. It's like, putting that flaming bag of shit in front of somebody's door and then knocking on it and then running away. <laughs> it's like, ha ha, ah, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> ah, this is good, this is good guys. Good medicine, I'm just teasing. All right, getting back into it. Last set. Last set. Are you guys noticing the difference if you really pull your butt back, how much easier that is and how much less stress that is? on your lower back. When you really feel those hamstrings activate at the bottom. Nice guys, nice. Keep those lats on. Don't lose those lats. Yeah. Woo! Wow, that was a lot of up and down. Holy crap. Yikes. Then we have our new July homework because it's July. Yay, it's July. So guys, I'm gonna set up the timer like a Tabata because for these last three exercises, we're gonna do 20 seconds of each of them, all right? So what we'll do is we'll do 20 seconds. 
We'll rest, we'll transition for 10 seconds to get into our next exercise. And then we'll do the next one. So we'll start with push-ups. Again, if you're not doing strict push-ups or if you want to use a banded push-up, go for it. If you're not doing a strict push-up, you can do an eccentric push-up, which you're just going to slowly lower 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Then you're going to bring yourself back up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Get all the way to the ground. And then just bring yourself back up, all right? That is totally fine to do that. If for some reason you have a shoulder pain and you can't do a push-up at all, then just go ahead and give me the archer planks where you're drawing your hand across your body. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is our 20 seconds of knee grabs. I'm really glad that we're working on knee grabs this month because I just took that one minute test and it, I did not do, didn't come close. So arms in tight, making sure to bring those feet up at the top, getting those shoulders over those hips and back down. We're gonna do 20 seconds of those and then 20 seconds of mountain climbers. So. We're going to go knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Now, if you want to go fast with it, go fast with it. Personally, I like to do a cross body because for some reason my leg gets really stuck in my hip and it doesn't do that with a cross body. So your choice if you want to do a cross body mountain climber or a regular mountain climber, but this is not the one where you put your foot down, all right? Your, your, your foot stays up as you go knee to elbow, knee to elbow, keeping those shoulders over those wrists, all right? So I'm going to start the Tabata timer. Get ready into your push-ups, and we're going, or your, or your um, archer planks, and we're going in three, two, one, go. Make them good, make them beautiful, rest if you have to. Three seconds. Awesome. Transitioning into our knee grabs. Grab your mat if you need it. Got five seconds left. Two, one, hit it. Ten seconds. Two, one. Transitioning into our mountain climbers. Three, two, one, go. Butt stays at about shoulder height, shoulders over wrists. Trying to get that full range of motion, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, or you're just doing a regular mountain climber. I'm doing cross body as an alt. And you're done. What the what? You guys, that was awesome. So remember, this is gratitude month. All we're asking is that you think of something that you're grateful for every day. If you want a gratitude journal, let me know. It's like just like those Training for Warriors journals that we gave out before. If you would like another one of those, I can grab you one. You can write in there. You can text me something you're grateful for. I can write it on the little sheet and put it in the jar or you can put it, uh, you can write it on the sheet when you come to class or when you leave class. But uh, today I am grateful for the guy on the scooter with the duck and the guitar, because that made my day. And the fact that he was singing, and he wasn't that bad. I mean, it caught my attention, you know? So what are you grateful for? Makes you happy when you think about gratitude. I'm here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Give yourself a round of applause. sarcastic slow claps ah oh, gosh and oh oh and scene <laughs>